Hi, I'm Rebecca Franks, a developer relations engineer on the Android team. Today, we are going to be looking at the Androidify app. We'll explore how it works behind the scenes and how you can also build AI-powered experiences on Android. Firstly, what is Androidify? Androidify is our latest open source sample. You choose a photo or take one using your camera, and then you pick the color of your desired Android bot. Then, clicking Transform, and a bit of background magic happens. And you are turned into a bot version of yourself. It's available for you to check out on GitHub. How fun! But you are here to learn more about how it works behind the scenes. So let's get into it then. The app is built with four main technologies, Jetpack Compose, Firebase AI Logic, Gemini, and Imagine. And if you're interested in exploring about how these technologies communicate behind the scenes, check out our solution on the Android developer's site you'll be able to explore the architecture of the app and how these technologies communicate together, including video walkthroughs of the app that highlight the user flows I'm about to show you. See the link in the description of this video to learn more. So, as I said, the four main technologies that power the experience. How does it work? There are a few steps based on which flow a user takes. Let's follow the flow of taking or picking a photo. Once a user picks a photo, we use Firebase AR Logic with Gemini to validate that the image contains a person and enough information for us to generate a bot. And then we also generate a detailed description of what the person is wearing. Once we have that image description, we then call the Firebase AI Logic SDK, which internally calls Imagine, to generate the bot version of yourself. For the Androidify case, we have a custom fine-tuned Imagine model. But you can make fun images with standard Imagine too. And then you get a bot image at the end. Great, so we know the basics. Let's talk details. How can we actually integrate with these SDKs? To validate the image, we call Firebase AI Logic. First, we create the generative model. Then we call generate content on the generative model. In this example, we are using multimodal Gemini to pass in the prompt and the image at the same time. We ask Gemini to analyze the image and determine if it's acceptable based on a bunch of criteria. We also use the option of having the result returned as JSON, and we pass this into a successful response or not. Once we've determined it's acceptable, we make another call to Firebase to caption the image, giving us a very detailed description of what the person is wearing, looking for things like the color of your hair or the color of your shirt, for example. Then we call Imagine with this prompt that we've generated from the previous steps. This thing gives us a bunch of images as a result that we can display to the end user. In our case, we just pick the first result. And that covers the workflow of the app in general. But the app is not only a showcase of using AI in your experiences. It also uses Jetpack Compose and the latest Material 3 Expressive APIs to create a delightful experience overall. With many animations scattered throughout the app too, showcasing popular new trends, animating gradient buttons, anyone? And old classics like the path offset animation on the Android bot. The app uses Material 3 Expressive by switching to the Material Expressive theme at the top level and leveraging the Expressive Motion scheme for its animations where possible combining new components like the horizontal toolbar and fun new shapes like the cookie nine-sided shape, as well as advanced animations like the shape morphing transition that transitions between the take a photo button and the camera button. Another cornerstone of the app is the ability to adapt to different screen sizes. We've supported different screen sizes to take advantage of all the available space by building up reusable layouts. For example, the camera layout adjusts to the different screen sizes based on the properties of the device too. If your device is in tabletop mode, the layout changes and supports displaying the content on a rear screen if your device has that support. Leveraging the slot pattern in Compose, we were able to build this reusable layout that caters for these different scenarios in a way that avoids a lot of code duplication, leading to a UI that's easier to maintain and work with and delights users across a range of different devices. If you've liked what you've seen so far, then there's way more. Check out the code, the solution for exploring the app architecture, and the blog posts that go into extensive detail. Find all the links in the description. Bye for now.